Good afternoon. So today I'm going to show you how to harvest seeds from the black-eyed daisy. And uh, I get very excited about this plant because it's drought resistant. You see it growing everywhere. Landscapers use it for a foundation plant. Uh, it, uh, you'll see it alongside the road. It's very easy to harvest seeds from it. It's a plant that is very easy to grow and to populate. For example, when I say populate, uh, I'm going to show you how to collect these seeds. But if I don't even have to do this, the seeds fall off on their own. The wind comes along, just blows them to the ground, and the plant comes back up. And you can see there's a lot of plants back here. These seeds will grow, they'll germinate and grow on their own. I don't have to do anything. They just come up. Uh, and they're a beautiful addition to your garden. And uh, they're very easy to find. You don't have to pay uh, to buy these seeds. You don't have to uh, uh, go to uh, your garden center and buy black-eyed uh, daisies because you can find uh, this plant anywhere and you can collect the seed uh, from the plant. Because it is late in the season, we've had a lot of rain and uh, the wind, uh, a lot of the seeds have already dropped out of the pods. But if you look at this pod in particular, I can still see seeds, a number of seeds lingering here. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm going to clip the, um, See, see how they all just snapped? They're all in my lap, just from the clipping of the scissors. So I should have been holding that under that pod. But I think we can still get a, a number of seeds off of it. So here's the uh, pod that I just clipped and clipped and the pod fell into the envelope. And I'm just going to uh, take my forefinger and um, brush along the seeds and cause them to pop out. I'm tr trying to do it without them popping out of the envelope so that you can see the pot, the seeds. So really you can't damage the seeds. The idea is just to get them to fall out of the pod and uh, so you have to manipulate the pod. But you can see, uh, if you can see, there's the seed laying there. If I were to flick that, that seed would fall right out. You don't need to remove the filaments that fell in uh, from the pod because you're going to put this envelope in your refrigerator. It's going to be cool, so those filaments aren't going to decay and cause uh, mold or uh, any kind of uh, damage to your seed. So I've sealed the envelope and I'm going to put my envelope in my plastic container and here's my plastic container. You can use any kind of a plastic container as long as you know it will seal shut and protect your uh, packet, seed packet from moisture and uh, so I just want to close this. You can put this anywhere in your refrigerator, uh, preferably the sec section of your milk, eggs, cheese, uh, away from any moisture. You don't want to put your seed packets in the freezer. Uh, that will damage them, but you do want to put it in the lower part of your refrigerator and keep them in the dormant state. And they will not germinate until you put them in the ground uh, the following season. You can uh, keep the seeds up to three, four, or five years. Uh, they will still produce. Uh, the only thing that happens when you keep seeds that long is the number of production, the number of germination uh, declines. But you still, if you have collected a lot of seeds, you can still get a full uh, flower bed of flowers from your seed collection. And thank you for listening today. I hope you enjoy planting your seeds next year.